Welcome to another gorgeous autumn day in the east of Holland. The sun is shining, the weather is nice, and the trees behind me all have beautiful colors. Today we are talking about a very old Dutch custom. We are talking about the Dutch wooden shoes. I have them here. And we're going to do a little scientific experiment today to show you that there's actually some magic involved when it comes to these shoes. Uh, now, first of all, they're known as klompen or clogs or just Dutch wooden shoes. Um, but to set the record straight, they're not really 100% Dutch. They were used uh, all throughout Holland, but also Belgium and also France. Uh, they weren't worn specifically for a magical reason. Uh, they were worn because your feet becomes wider and bigger. And because it becomes wider and bigger when you wear these clogs, you're less likely to sink or get stuck into the mud. And Holland and France and Belgium can be pretty muddy. Um, we're going to measure something. And for that, I brought, this is a standard voltmeter. You can just order it on Amazon if you don't have it, because you can replicate this experiment at home. Uh, we're going to do a little experiment. Uh, we're going to show it possibly picture in picture right here. And we're going to show you that these shoes actually help you stay more connected to the earth. Now, that's a very new agey thing to say. Stay connected to the earth. It's also a pagan thing to say, to stay connected to the earth. And I'm also in the second part of this video going to talk a bit about why it's actually a good thing to stay connected to the earth. I mean, we can prove that we are related to the earth, but... You know, you're also related to your alcoholic Uncle Steve, and you know, you shouldn't be connecting to him all the time. So why should it be good to automatically connect to Earth? We're going to talk about that later on. Uh, first, we're going to do the experiment. We're going to show it picture in picture. But when I turn the voltmeter on, it's very simple if you don't know how it works. There are two wires. You put this one on one end, you put this to another end. And if there's a current which goes from one end to the other end, it goes through the machine and the machine can measure it and it will show it on this little screen. Easy as pie, right? If you put one end in the earth, and if you put the other in the earth, you can measure if there's electricity in the earth, if the earth is alive. Or what do you know? It's at this moment 0, 0, 0.15 can't properly show you here, so I'll just show you there. This is the measurement of the Earth. 1, 14. So there's a current here. But I am currently wearing, not my clumps, but my Pumas from Germany. If I'm standing on the Earth with the rubber soles of my Pumas, and if I put one part in the Earth, and put the other sensor in my hand, what do I get? I get almost nothing. Wait. Yeah. Here's the funny thing. When I sit on the chair, I get a measurement. I'll show that here. See, there's at least some measurement. But when I get my ass off the chair and I just use the pumas, let me just sit like that on my pumas, what I get is actually zero. Zero, 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 zero. Meaning that the current doesn't move toward, move through me and back into the earth. Meaning I'm not connected to the earth. Scientifically proven that pumas are shit. <laughs> not knocking on pumas, I like them. So now, Tijd voor de klompen, jongen. I'll put one into the earth, the other into the earth, so we can get a measurement. Yeah, there is a measurement, 0 0.023. Now, I won't sit on the chair, because that influences the, the measurement. I'm just on my clogs now. And if I grab them, I get 0 0.05, I get a different measurement. If I have the shoes on with the rubber soles, there's nothing. If I have the wooden clogs on, 
there's something meaning that the energy of the earth is now flowing through my feet up into my body and my energy is flowing through my feet back into the earth meaning that i stay connected now like i said if you want to try this at home get one of these and try it it's fun it works but what does it all mean well it just means that you're more connected to the earth you're more grounded but why is that a good thing well that's a very good question like i said we shouldn't be connected to everything all the time first of all we are connected to the earth scientifically we're all carbon based life forms meaning that there's carbon inside of me and there's carbon inside these trees and these leaves so there's this part that's the same for all of us but why is it good to connect well i think Basically, there are two different states that you can find yourself in. You know, there are good states and there are bad states, but I think all the good states have one thing in common and all the bad states have something in common. Whenever you feel negative, like angry, ashamed, sad, what happens when you feel those emotions, when you start to feel angry or ashamed, you close off. And every time when you're happy, it's you open up so there are only two two states that you can find yourself in it's either connected or disconnected and all the things that are disconnected are just not flowing when it comes to energy emotions get stuck you you tense up and things don't progress in a normal way and that's where a lot of dis-ease in our society comes from so two states it's opening up and not opening up disconnected and connected that's all there is and these wooden shoes the oldest pair was about 800 years ago that they found these help you stay connected now if you want to stay connected hit that subscribe button how about that for a lovely bridge uh, that's all i got this little experiment ga met goden and ik zie jullie weer volgende week goodbye